She's an author, a scholar, an activist in refugee issues. She's the remarkable Mary Jo Letty. Welcome her to Context. Great to have you here. Okay, you know that the optics of the numbers, of how we have shifted, and we're now at our lowest number in 20 years of taking refugees in, has concerned us today. Mm -hmm. What do you think it says about us? Why is it? It's extremely provocative, uh, and it should act as a question to all of us as Canadians, as people of faith. Um, the generous people who sponsored 70,000 refugees still exist. Yeah. That is still who we are. But the mean, nasty atmosphere that surrounds us now, that's also true. And I think these are two aspects of who we are uh, that surface at different times in our history okay. and for different reasons. Okay, so explain why we, why we have this thin line where we can be both the best in us and the worst in us with asylum seekers. A great deal of it has to do with public perception. I mean, when those boat people came and we saw pictures of them in the boats, in the water. Uh, there was a tremendous openness to try to help them. But Mary Jo, we but see if the you, same pictures now. Like, look at the sea of shame. Look at Lapidusa. The sea of shame. But you just heard the minister refer to bogus refugees. And that message has been repeated again and again and again, not just by this government, but by several governments. And it has blinded us to the simple fact that these are our brothers and sisters. Okay, boats and brothers and sisters. When we had, in Vancouver, uh, Sri Lankan refugees arrive in two shiploads, mm -hmm. we put them in jail. Yes. What do you think of that? I think it's terrible, and I actually know a person who was on that boat. He was the main news source for BBC Radio, for BBC World International. He was not a terrorist. And when that boat arrived, it was not with the welcoming arms that we did with the Vietnamese boat people. Prime Minister Harper and Jason Kenney, the minister at that time, stood on the boat and told the Canadian public, we will protect you from these terrible people. Okay, well, uh, when we welcome the stranger, what is the spiritual exchange that goes on for us? When you see them face to face and they look you in the eye and in one way or another, they say to you, please help me. Um, you at that moment are summoned and it may well be one of the most important choices you make in your life. And you are summoned to become good and to be decent. And in that process of responding to this person that you don't know, you in fact become more than you ever thought. You can become generous and decent and you also become painfully aware of your own weaknesses. It was your book, The Other Face of God, that just said we, we've got to have you on because you, mm -hmm. you are persistent in this idea that God is raising something up in our Canadian populace. What, why are you so convinced God cares for the refugee? Because they are our brothers and sisters. It's that simple. But I also believe that if we imagine that God is just like us, we are missing a chance to learn that God is much more than someone just like us. God is different from us, is the one that we don't know. And I think it's in really welcoming the stranger that we see the other face of God, that we see a bigger God, a truer God than we, in our little world, than we imagine. 
the greatest gift of all that refugees bring to us, which is they hope in this country. They hope that we are a decent people and that we are just. And that hope that they place in us summons us to become better people. That's the greatest gift that they bring us, and we need to hear that. But. That's wonderful. Thank you. Ronnie yeah. loves it. All right. Okay, um, you know what? And we do have a book to give away from Mary Jo's wonderful The Other Face of God. It's up on our website on how you can get it. And when we come back, we're going to have some closing thoughts on what the refugee crisis does say about us. Thank you, Mary Jo. Call us, email us, tweet or Facebook us. Three little words, two-way television. The Bible is an early map of refugee care. To a community of some two million people, the Israelites, God is recorded to have said, make six of your cities open for access to refugees. The uprooted, God said, were to be treated as native born. Love him as yourself, God said. Later in history, Jesus warned we will be banished from heaven if we do not offer welcome to the stranger on earth. Those ideas just don't fit with the reality that there are over 23 million refugees in the world. I do think God's welcome would have us take in more than the Refugees Canada had said yes to last year. Lots to think about there. And there are also how you can help links on our websites and on our blogs, how to get Mary Jo Letty's book, The Other Face of God, is there as well. For all of us, I'm Lorna Duick. Thanks for watching and join us next week as we explore life beyond the headlines. <laughs>